Hey everybody, I'm Rusty Johnson with United Outdoors. Right here on this Onyx map, uh, if I was going to hunt within the boundaries of these roads, I'm going to break this down for you of what I would choose as my go-to spots, and I'm going to tell you why. So one thing that I notice right here immediately on this piece of land is there's you see all these fingers, and most of these are probably cow pastures or hay pastures. And these deer like to bed on the steep side of these uh, fingers. And then like for evening hunts, anything that's got a point on it, right there. So I would key in right there. You have sporadic trees out in these pastures. Uh, deer, tree, you know, trees by themselves are like magnets to deer. When they come out in these pastures, uh, if you'll notice when you're watching these deer, they will, they'll go to a tree. I uh, don't know how to explain that, but they do. And a lot of times they, those make good stand sites. It may be right in the middle of the pasture. But uh, <clears throat> if there's cows in there, you might want to try to find a spot where there's not cows. But uh, you have a big chunk of timber right here. Uh, th those deer like to bed off the side of those hills in that timber and then in the evenings come out to the fields to feed. Uh, any of these fingers right here look really good and I would almost always set up like on the point or if you have a finger that has like a projection coming out or a small ditch that's coming out of a big finger like that, you can set on the outside edge of those uh, ditches and they like to hug the edge and travel those. So we're, we're in the early part of December right now and the rut is tapering way off and so these does are really in these fields and uh, the bucks are not going to be far behind them. You're going to have some late cruisers and stuff looking for does that are coming in. Uh, but for morning spots, I see over here on the west side, you have some big draws with a lot of topography here. And in the mornings, I would probably favor getting in to uh, one of these spots in the timber. Uh, you don't want to be too far from the food, but in the you want to get into the timber because uh, these deer are going to be out in these fields at night feeding and you don't want to blow them out of the field. So in the morning times, I like getting in these just inside the timber. Uh, if you can access it coming from a road in the timber and not have to walk through a field, that would be best. But I would like to, you can see right here, there's a little ditch that comes off of a big main drainage right here, that little ditch right there, just that one small change in topography uh, will concentrate. I mean, they'll like to walk around, right around the outside edge of these little ditches right here. And sometimes they'll walk right up the middle of that ditch and you'll see a lot of scrapes and rubs right at the top of these little ditches right here. Down here on the east side, you see all these fingers. It's They're all coming off of a main uh, drainage right here and for evening you can access from this road right here you can walk over here and you have little dips and little humps and all these little fingers and deer like low lying areas like that when they come out in the evening at night they'll disperse out into the field but when they first come out in the evening during shooting light they'll come out most likely in one of these little dips or one of the little ridges or one of the little tips that come off of these fingers. But they'll also be bedded down in these fingers right here. And in the evening, it'll be a perfect spot to catch them coming out to feed. So uh, the reason I think that these little dips in these low lying areas are really good uh, when they come out in the evening is it kind of covers, covers them a little bit. They feel like they're in some cover. And a lot of times those areas are also shaded depending on uh, which side of the finger it is. But most of the time they'll come out in a shaded area and in a low area where they think they're under some cover while it's still daylight. Of course at night they'll disperse out in the field because it's under darkness.